An introduction to the software called the Geometer Sketchpad. This file pretty much says itself. I uh, just want to point out a few things that we're talking about using buttons. These link buttons jump you back and forth. And the first thing is to just doodle. Use these things right here, use these things across here, and just play. But you must be on the arrow button to use these. That is the arrow tool to use these buttons. So do a little overview, read what all these things can do and then how to select and deselect. Now these are activities so you'll see like try it buttons in which you try to do these things and then you'll see other little uh, links and buttons that will take you to other places. So whenever you see one please scan the page thoroughly and try the activity and go back to the home screen. Labels working, you can do an activity here. Did you get this? And again, more buttons to take you to other ideas. If you do all of these things very thoroughly, then you'll become familiar with this software. And this software is key for doing everything that we're going to do in this course. Um, this particular one that is on number five, the top menu bar, there are a lot of uh, extra buttons down here on learning how to work with color, showing objects, filling in with interior, polygon interiors. These are all important for doing the assignment. The assignment, the actual assignment to turn in for grading, as you see in the rubric, is for you to recreate this image. Let me point out that you cannot get these arrows. Uh, that just showed up for other reasons I don't want to talk about. Uh, but these are rays, this is a line, and can you make this as close as possible? So you'll click here and you'll try it. You can use that as a guide. And it just has to be close, the same basic idea, the same basic colors. So that's what I'd like you to do and to turn in. So once that is completed, and I'm going to back up to, I'm going to use this one, my crazy one. Isn't that amazing? Anyways. I'm going to use this and show you how to get this picture into your wiki page because once you've done your drawing it must be posted. What I'm going to do is shrink this up a bit, minimizing the screen, just getting it to the size I need and uh, that'll do. In fact, I think that's a, a little small. I'm going to let this thing shrink down and come right back on up. Oh, it's truly amazing and a little bit scary. Alright, I think I'll take that because I'm going to do the print screen like we used before. So using the alt print screen function that means this window is captured. I'm going to go to my paint program under programs accessories paint and I can paste this. Now from here I just want to save this file. So under file save as and please change it to JPEG format and a good location that you can find so you should have some kind of folder working for all of this and I'm going to entitle this uh, my name and perhaps HW homework 1-2 maybe hyphen 2 so I think it makes sense to you that this is the second assignment from lesson 2 so I'm going to save it and now it's on my desktop and I'm uh, going back to my sketchpad file, making sure that this is complete. My homework is completely done. And I want to save my homework file as well. And then you're going to upload these to the wiki page. So now you would go to your wiki. And you can go right to your folder. Which will also have a link. To your page and I want to upload the picture right here now I've started a new table and these will be links for all my assignments but I'd like to put that picture of that crazy person right here so I'm going to edit this page and just to show you something a little bit different if I want to insert the image here you'll find right here it says images and files and upload an image so I'm going to go find that image that I created where might it be here it is Anderson homework one two 
double click off it goes there we go make sure I'm clicked into this cell of the table one click inserts the image it's kinda of large but it's there now what I'm gonna do is click once on the image and I can drag this thing down now this will distort the image for this one in particular I think that'll be okay when we get into any kind of real mathematics we should shrink the image before we save it and uh, so this is just being cute but it'll get the idea in there just showing that we created this lovely picture and we should go ahead and upload the file well what I'm gonna do since that upload for files didn't show it right there I'm gonna hit save for now and I'm gonna jump over to my folder and upload it directly and from here I can upload files directly to this folder so I'm going to do upload, choose the file I was trying to get. Now that I have the file in my folder right there, I can go to my student page and edit this page and make a link. So I want these words, assignment 2, to upload that file. Come over here and get the file. There it is. Again, highlight the words. One click on that file, and that link opens that file. Don't know why I lost the bold. Maybe I can make it bold again. Lovely. Hit save. And now I am one step closer to finishing lesson one, two. Assignment two, and an image of that. Thank you very much.